In this example, we are going to solve this system of linear equations. There are three equations with three unknowns using Gaussian elimination. Gaussian elimination lets us do three things. It says we can always interchange the positions of any two uh, equations. It says that we can always add a non-zero multiple of one equation to another equation. And that's exactly what we do when we use the elimination method. And it says that we can always multiply through or divide through by some non-zero uh, constant. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. There is many ways that you could work through this. Uh, here is one good way to do it. So first I'm going to try to get rid of this x. And the way I'm going to get rid of this x is by multiplying the entire top equation by negative 1 and then adding it to the second equation. I'm going to do that work over here on the side. So when we multiply the top equation by negative 1, we get negative x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to negative 1, which I'm going to add to the second equation here, which is x plus 2y minus z is equal to 13. When we add these together, we get negative x plus x is 0, so that's gone. 2y plus 2y is 4y. Negative 3z plus negative z is negative 4z is equal to negative 1 plus 13, which is 12. This gives us a new second equation for the system of equations. So I'm going to write it out again. This becomes x minus 2y plus 3z equals 1. This equation does not change. We're going to replace it with this one. So we have uh, 4y minus 4z is equal to 12. And we still have this bottom equation here, 3x plus 2y minus 5z is equal to 3. All right, so we've gotten rid of the x there. Let's get rid of the x here next. What can we multiply the entire top equation by so that when we add the top equation to the bottom equation, this 3x goes away? I think the thing to do is to multiply the top equation by negative 3 and then add to the bottom one. When we multiply the top equation by negative 3, we end up with negative 3x plus 6y minus, th uh, minus 9z is equal to negative 3. We'll add that to the bottom equation. 3x plus 2y minus 5z is equal to 3. What do we get when we add these? Well, these x's go away as we hoped. 6y plus 2y is 8y. Uh, negative 9z plus negative 5z is negative 14 z, and uh, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So we end up with 8y minus 14z is equal to 0. Okay, let's write this down then. Uh, over here, we can bring it all back together. So this is x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. That didn't change. The second one didn't change. 4y minus 4z is equal to 12. In this bottom one is our new 8y minus 14z is equal to 0. What should we get rid of next? Well, we want to have a triangular form, which means that we will have an x, a y, and a z in the top, a y and z in the next one, and then we want just a z in the bottom. So let's get rid of this. Uh, 8y here next. How can we do that? Well, it looks like we'll play off of this equation in the middle. If we multiply the equation in the middle by negative 2 and add it to the bottom equation, we can get rid of this 8y. Check it out. Multiply the middle equation by negative 2, we get 8y plus uh, 8z. This is negative 8y plus 8z is equal to negative 24. And now we're going to add it to the bottom equation here. We have 8y minus 14z is equal to 0. Let's see what we get when we add these together. Negative 8y plus 8y is gone. 8z plus negative 14z, I guess that gives us a negative 6z, is equal to negative 24 plus 0 is negative 24. And here we have our new equation for the bottom. So now we have 
x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. 4y minus 4z is equal to 12. And our new bottom equation, which is negative 6z is equal to negative 24. This equation is now in triangular form. Why? Well, because it has three equations in the top, sorry, three variables in the top, two variables in the middle, and one variable at the bottom. And when it's written this way, you could probably go ahead and solve for it using back substitution. It'll be a little easier if we go ahead and divide through the, in, the, in the middle and in the bottom equations if we divide through by the common factors there. So this one is going to become x minus 2y plus 3z equals 1. Uh, I'm going to divide through here by 4, so this is going to become y minus z is equal to 3. And uh, here we get, we divide through by negative 6, so we get z is equal to 4. This is a much easier system to solve than the original, and yet, because we used Gaussian elimination, the solutions to this system are the same as the solutions to the original one. Let's go ahead and see if we can find what uh, y and x are now. So we know that z is equal to 4. Let's go ahead and use back substitution to find y. So y is uh, y minus 4 is equal to 3. So we add 4 to both sides and we get that y is equal to 7. Now that we know that z is equal to 4 and y is equal to 7, let's now find x. So we'll use the equation right here and we get x minus 2 times 7. Um, plus 3 times 4, from right there, is equal to 1. So this is saying x minus 14 plus 12 is equal to 1. Negative 14 plus 12 gives us negative 2, so x minus 2 is equal to 1, and that means that x is equal to 3. So we have found all three values of the unknown variables. So we have our solution, which is x is 3, y was 7, and z was 4. You can check this by plugging them into all three equations and seeing whether they come out. Here is our solution to this Gaussian elimination problem.